The human programming challenge, what is it? Well, this is an activity that we do to show how uh, we can program human beings just like we can program robots or computers, okay? And so it's a fun activity where we can do some physical programming of another student in your group, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break up into the groups that you've already been in and coaches, you can go ahead and pass out the human programming challenge handout, one to each group, and then we'll go over it. Let's take a look at the human programming challenge, okay? And I'll read directly from the handout. So basically, programming, again, is simply the act of giving instructions. Using a standard language, you all can program all sorts of things, including humans. That's right, we can program humans to accomplish tasks, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Using the language shown below, your team will write a program that tells a human or one of your team members what to do. See below for details. So the objective is to create a program for a human to follow a course that we'll show on the second page here to the finish block. So you're gonna write a program that tells your teammate from a starting point how to get to the finish block, okay? And the team that does this with the fewest lines of code will win the challenge, okay? So here's what our language looks like. It's very simple, okay? Um, so it's just symbols, okay? So like arrows. So if you see a step forward, this arrow here, this up arrow, it means to step forward, okay? And uh, we won't do uh, parentheses here as well. So just forget the part about parentheses. So if you wanted to step forward twice, you would use two of these, okay? One after another. And we'll have an example of the program in the next, uh, on the next page. Um, if you wanted to step backwards, you use the down arrow. Now this right here, is not a turn right, but just face forward and step to the right, okay? So like a sideways step. And this is a sideways step to the left. And this here means to face right, okay? Or to turn. It doesn't mean to step, it just means to turn right. And this means to turn left, okay? So here are the rules, okay? So you must step forward over the finish line when you cross it, okay? So you must step for you must walk forward into the finish block, okay? And you'll see there on the next page uh, what the course looks like, okay? There can only be one action per line, right? Like I said, so if you want two steps, you need to use an arrow, and then on the next line, use another arrow. Uh, so take time to understand the course and the movements that you need to make um, to accomplish the task, okay? Uh, and number each line of code, okay? So we'll see that on the next page. So let's take a look at the next page. So here's our example program code here, okay? So it, looking at the code here, okay, you got five lines of code here, okay? So this, this is step forward, step to the left, a sideways step, step forward, step forward, and then, then left turn, okay? And this is just an example of what it should look like. And so on your piece of paper, on the back of your, pro, your hand out there, um, you can number your lines of code, okay? One through, 20 if you have 20 lines of code, okay? Now this is gonna come into play if we have two or more teams that actually accomplish uh, the programming challenge, and then we'll see which team has the least amount of code, okay, that does it, all right? Um, so here's what our course will look like, okay? So, um, and you'll put this together using the foam tiles, all right? And that's what what uh and i'll show you another video of that and how that looks okay so here's the programming challenge here's the starting block your teammate will start in this block and they have to get to this finish block okay but remember they must walk forward into the finish block so either forward into this block or if you're coming from this way forward into the block okay so that means you can't walk backwards or step backwards into the block because then you didn't complete the challenge right so here here's the layout the course layout the instructions um, if your coach has it printed out, you can definitely go over it. If not, hopefully that's enough information for you. But this is the challenge. Good luck. So that's an overview of the human programming challenge. Now, take the next 15 to 20 minutes to actually write your programs. Remember that the program with the least amount of code or the least lines of code is actually the program that wins. Now I do expect that all of you or most of you will get through the program and so you want to think about how do I make my program shorter than the next group, okay? Because that's really what's going to determine whether or not your team wins this uh, challenge. So again, take 15 to 20 minutes to actually write your program. 
um, and maybe you want to practice running it as well. And then we're going to come back, play the next video, and I'm going to show you how to actually build the course so that you and your teammates can run through the program that you've just written. See you in the next video.